Hello again everyone. I've been wondering about the unequal piston size in the calipers on my Citroen C25 motorhome. Now this is the driver's side caliper and you can see that top piston which would be the leading edge once the caliper is mounted back on the vehicle is smaller than the bottom piston which would be the trailing edge. So this is the way that it would be mounted on the van. This is from the driver's side and the brake this is coming in this way and going round like that. Now I wondered if it's something to do with progressive braking. Obviously this piston, the small one, is going to move out faster for a given amount of brake fluid than the big one as you press in the pedal and sort of squeeze the master cylinder. So they're going to move out in that sort of order. And I wondered if that's, you know, for light braking you get this little bit of effect and then when you put on a pedal harder you get the full effect coming but uh, I don't think that's right really I've been looking online and uh, asking on various Facebook groups and stuff and uh, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of information about this but the best theory that I've come across and this does sound very very plausible is that it's to stop uneven pad wear now there will be a sort of turning force on the pads as the disc goes round and round. So the disc is going round and round this way. Imagine that spinning really fast. If I was to then press my hand on it, my hand would be whipped round like that. It wouldn't go like that, it would be whipped round like that. So when the pistons push the brake pad against the disc, the top edge of the pad is going to want to flick round like that and uh, you'd create wear on the leading edge of the brake pad more than the trailing edge. So with our uneven size pistons, the larger piston is going to have a bigger force even though this one will come out a little bit quicker this will have a bigger force so imagine again our disc spinning round if I press my hand on it but I press firmly on the palm it's going to help my hand not to be whipped round like that probably still would be don't recommend sticking your hand into quickly rotating parts but uh, with that bottom piston acting more firmly on there than the top one, it's going to even out that turning force on the pad and stop any uneven wear. So I think this theory does make sense and is the most plausible explanation as to why you've got uneven pistons in the caliper. So what do you reckon? Do you agree with this theory? Am I on the right track? Have I believed the right people on the internet? Or do you know better? Have you got a better theory? Uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you reckon, Mr. Ginge? Oh, you're off. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.